All right, Madoka Magica fans. So, episode 3 was insane, and today we'll be watching episode 4. So, so far, we have lost a character, our blonde hair girl, Mommy? Mammy? I, I don't know her name. I'm so, I feel so bad. I still don't know her name. But, um, well, she is dead, so... Now I know that this show is not for the light of heart, and it is dark. It is seriously dark. All right, uh, let's talking from me, and let's jump right into episode four. I mean, I feel like these girls are too young to be experiencing all these things. But what kind of accident was he in? Was it a car accident? Oh, girl, don't blame yourself. You got nothing wrong. I can understand where she's coming from. This is a really, really hard decision for her. Uh, I feel like this, these wishes are just a little bit too much for these girls uh aren't they like middle schoolers and it's just uh it's, it's just a sad thing like they shouldn't be like I, I don't understand why they're being chosen to be like magical girls when there could be obviously like older older girls that can do that like you know they can be better mentally prepared like they're literally kids and they had to like face like serious world ending decisions and it's insane that the show is still about magical girls i i don't i can't even like predict what's going to happen now <laughs> episode 4 miracles and magic are real i don't understand why does that little uh cat thing never move its mouth it's almost like they're saving money on, on that animation. That backboard has nothing to do with what she's talking about. What does nobody know? Was everybody's memories erased? I guess being a magic girl isn't such a good thing after all. Might as well not be one. But this background music is really nice. I mean, can't she technically use her wish to bring her back to life? I mean, they did say any wish, right? I have a serious question. Why does everybody's face look so flat? No, oh, that's insane. I'm surprised you can still I'm surprised you still intact like that. I kinda wish this main character can change her uh horrible crying habits. It's kinda annoying. Like, I know where she's coming from, but she, like, every single scene, she's crying. I feel like this show, like, explores, like, the dark side of Sailor Moon, of what could possibly happen to a more realistic version of Sailor Moon. Like I, I I honestly don't know what much about Sailor Moon. All I know is it's a it's a magical girl show, and this one's also a magical girl show. But I definitely think Sailor Moon is like all happy, all go lucky. But like I, I mean, sure it has its own moments, but it's not like anything as serious as this. Like this is only episode four. There's already a death, one death confirmed. I think. <laughs> 
and uh yeah i feel like this show definitely explores like the dark realistic possibility of fighting against evil uh and how these magical girls uh what kind of problems they face each and every day and i think they're doing i think they're doing a really good job of that too Whoa. Whoa. That, that, that's going a bit too far. Here we go. Our first magical girl. Stop her, what else would you do? Jesus. She's acting like a crazy woman. Didn't she just like... Oh, shit. I don't think she can win against these people. Every time. Every time when a witch comes out, this is so creepy. I can't get used to this. Where's the blue hair girl? We need a blue hair girl right now. Oh shit, that looks cool. Oh, she's a sword user. Damn, that's cool. I feel like getting his hands fixed wasn't a good thing. Okay, so this new the this new red hair, pink hair girl is apparently I guess a rivaling magic girl and they're coming to their town, which is apparently a prime territory and she looks like a veteran too, of course, and she looks like she can definitely put them out of business. And I honestly I, I don't know how to feel about the fact that, that the blue hair girl has uh, has become a magic girl and used her wish to fix her brother's hand. But it's just, um, it wasn't happy. It was just kind of dark. It, it's almost like something bad is, like nothing good has come out of the fact that his hands are healed. It's like everything in this show is so suspicious. I don't even know what to believe in anymore. But nonetheless, episode four was pretty good, and um, yeah, the, the our our new magic girl can use a sword, and sword users are usually really cool. All right, hey, thank you guys for uh, watching my reaction of episode four of no of Madoka Magica all the way through, and as always. If you enjoy this video and want to see more of my reaction, please leave a subscribe, please leave a like, comment anything if you got anything to say. It's awesome. I'll reply to all messages that I can see and yeah, I really enjoy making these videos. So um, yeah, also see you guys next time. Have fun. Stay safe.